Perfect. Okay, so in the video you just saw, you saw how we we're able to take one of these Arduino boards right here and turn the potentiometer and have uh, output display from the analog input A0 into the OLED, but also to send it over the serial port communication channel over USB. And, and then it got graphed and, and that sort of thing. Now, the numbers that are being sent from the Arduino board have to be converted into a specific form and then reinterpreted on the Java side of things. Now, when we when we do this, uh, what we end up seeing is that there is, I'm just gonna turn this on right here, I'm gonna get a cool term set up. If, um, if I turn on and connect the serial port, there we go. What you can see is that there's these numbers that are coming in. Um, for instance, the, the one I'm gonna disconnect here to stop. So, so we see the very first bit that came in here, there was zero, then zero, then zero one then 4-4, four, four, then 0-D, and then 0-A. Now, 0-D and 0-A are basically the, uh, the two characters that are used for signifying enter, okay? Now, what, um, what happens on the, on the board itself, on the display, okay, on here, what we're seeing is the A0 is giving a value of about 323, 324. And the four bytes that are being transmitted, as we saw on the board here, were 0 and 0, that's how it starts with. So, zero there and zero there. And then we have zero one and 44. Now, these two right here signify the actual number that was transmitted. And let's, let's break this down so you can actually see an example of, of how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna do a graph over here in, I'm gonna draw it up here on uh, one note. Okay, so I got my pen right here. We're gonna go, so I got my terminal program. I'm gonna do a compare and contrast. So I got a terminal program. Then we got the actual bytes that are being sent that are being displayed on the OLED. And then the, uh, the A0 value that you would normally use. And, and you see at the top of the OLED being displayed, but the one that you would normally use within the Arduino program. So uh, we're going to break this up like this, like that. Okay. So in the terminal, we saw 0, 0. Then we saw 0. If we saw 0, 0, 0, um, then let's see. So we get four batches of zeros that, then 0D and 0A. In fact, I'm gonna mark those differently. I'm gonna put them in blue. So we got 0D and 0A. And for every example that we're gonna do, there's 0D and 0A. 0D and 0A. 0D and 0A. And these mean, let's see, this is carriage return. And that right there means new line. Okay, it has to do with typewriters back in the day and, and the sort of movement that ha would happen on a typewriter. And we've incorporated those into how computers send information as well. A carriage return, so the movement of the cylinder and then going to the next line. All right, so go back to black here. So these bytes represent um, 0, 0, uh, 0, and 0. And there should be basically about a, a 0 on A0 when, when that happens. Now, if I do... Uh, zero, zero, and there's always going to be these four zeros. Okay, one pair and another pair. One pair and another pair. Because we actually send these zeros explicitly. Okay, the first and second bytes, as was shown on the display. Um, so I guess I can do these in green or red. Well, that's what we do in red, so you can see it better. So zero and zero, and zero and zero, like that. Okay, so then we'll look at the next uh, number. And I wrote these down earlier, I'm just going to rewrite them. Okay, so I had zero, one and let's see, A1. And then, oh, let's see, over here, that converted into zero and zero. And then this was, let's see, what did I write down earlier? Oh yeah, so this was one and then 100, whoops, 161 like that. And that gave a value of 400, put it in black. 417. Okay, then over here, uh, let's see, the next one I recorded was uh, 0, 02, and I recorded these live um, earlier. 0, 02, and then it was EF. These are hexadecimal values. And then it was 
0 and 0. And then it was 2 and 240. And that gave an A0 value of 752. Okay, and this is actually what gets, ends up getting graphed on the uh, Java graph as well. Okay, uh, finally, we had, let's see, what did I record? I had recorded 0, 3, and F, F. And F, F is, a big, is the biggest number you can get in 8 bits. Okay, so we know we maxed out the potentiometer. That resulted in the 0, 0 as bytes that were transmitted over the USB. So this is over USB. USB, like that. All right, and then the other two bytes that were sent, we sent three and 255. And that corresponded to a value of 1002, uh, 1,023. Okay, so how do we get 417? 417 is equal to one multiplied by something plus 161 multiplied by something else. What is that something else? Well, 161 is two to the power of it's multiplied by two to the power of zero. The one right here, this one right here, is two to the power of eight. So if we go one times two to the power of eight, which is 256 plus 161 multiplied by two to the power of zero, we get 417. Okay, let's do the same thing to, let's see, what else do we have? 752, let's make sure it's not a freak coincidence here. So we're two times uh, two to the power of two to the eighth, like that, two multiplied by two to the eighth, plus 240 multiplied by two to the power of zero. And then let's take a look at, yeah, we'll do that. Two multiplied by two to the power of 8 plus 240 times 2 to the power of 0, 752. And then finally, let's take a look at uh, 1023. 1023 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8 plus 255 multiplied by 2 to the power of 0. Let's check out the math one more time. So we go to uh, 3 multiplied by two to the power of eight plus 255 times, let's the equivalent of one actually, okay? So it's two to the power of zero, like, whoop, not nine, to the power of zero like that. That's 1023. So that's how the numbers that you see in the real term screen, okay, or that you're seeing broken up on the OLED as we break up the, the four bytes that are being sent, zero, zero, and then the two data bytes. Uh, before we send the carriage return and line feed, or new line, sorry. Um, that's, that's what's actually being transmitted, and that has to be reinterpreted at the other end on the PC side of things. Okay, and there you have it.